Hello to everybody. Good day. Uh, my name is Sergei Novigov and I work in Kaspersky Lab. Uh, but let's imagine that today I'm, a, I'm working in a huge business in a big company and I'm a chief security officer. And we're going to talk about uh, the newest, maybe quite dangerous threat for today. This is targeted attacks. And uh, we invited two experts, uh, two experts from Kaspersky Lab. This is Magnus Hello. and Mr. Kosten. Hi. And I have several questions to you. What is this fuss about targeted attacks? Well, targeted attacks are uh, definitely not a new thing. Uh, targeted attacks are uh, related to social engineering attacks. And uh, we've seen social engineering attacks since the dawn of the computer year, which was more than 30 years ago. Uh, what's different this time is that uh, we are seeing an increase in the number of targeted attacks as a uh, uh, behavior evolution of how uh, cyber criminals uh, are hitting the big companies. So uh, somewhere at the beginning of the year, there was a report about uh, a large number of targeted attacks against uh, uh, over 34 big U.S. companies. Uh, the exact number of uh, the victims uh, is not known, but definitely that uh, um, gave us uh, the uh, suggestion that cyber criminals are now more interested in uh, doing very specific attacks, targeted attacks against big companies. So they are um, after uh, not just any kind of financial information, but they are now uh, looking for uh, corporate data, for corporate secrets, for uh, intellectual property, because this can be sold on the market for a very good price. So uh, we do think that uh, we are seeing a trend, a change in the way the attacks are happening at the moment, and uh, that the cyber criminals are going to move in this direction. And what do you think, why now? Uh, that's a very good question because uh, for the past uh, four years we have seen uh, an explosive uh, growth in the number of malware attacks. So up to the point where we now have over 30,000 new malicious programs a day. Um, so probably somebody in the cyber criminal world uh, noticed that it is not really necessary to send one million emails in order to infect a company it's enough to send just one single email if that email is carefully tailored to hit the company and to uh, transform them into victims. Um, so that's probably why it's happening now, because somebody uh, realized there is a uh, vertical market, so to say, uh, for targeted attacks. And uh, because they have a very high success rate in case of uh, uh, big companies with a lot of uh, employees, with employees from um, every technical domain, which are skilled, which are less skilled, salespeople, human resources people, they can all be targets for this. Well, thank you, Kostin, and uh, let me introduce you Mr. Magnus, Senior Virus Analyst from Europe. And my question is, uh, what do cyber criminals want? What do they need, money or data? Um, well, in most cases, uh, it's, it's hard to say it because, uh, of course, a targeted attack always means that this targeted attack um, has uh, well, something that the attacker wants, and it really depends. In some, most cases, uh, it's data, but in some cases, it's just uh, uh, the start to, to get deeper into the company. So, uh, the targeted attacks usually work like this, that the attacker first tries to install some Trojan within the system and uh, then the next step would be just um, with all the time in the world to, to take a look what does this company really have, so to do research within the company and, um, and this is of course the different compared to this malware that we see on typical customers PCs uh, um, when they are attacked, uh, of course the malware is usually trying for example to steal money from their bank account and uh, this doesn't work for companies because uh, this would be too obvious and it wouldn't take long until the company understands that they have a problem. So the rule number one for targeted attacks, of course, is always to stay hidden and to get as many information uh, as possible on a long period of time. How can companies recognize targeted attacks? How can I identify it? 
Well, actually, this is the tricky part because the uh, nature of a targeted attack is that the attacker first evaluates all security measures that a company has, and of course, then the attack is tailored in a way that um, ideally, from the attacker's perspective, you won't notice anything at all. So, in uh, some cases, a company uh, has already been attacked and they just don't have an idea. Maybe later they will find out. So, for example, if a competitor suddenly uh, has a patent application that looks suspiciously like the one they were working on at the uh, attacked company. Um, but sometimes, of course, uh, there are ways to, to detect such, a, uh, such an attack. And uh, this is usually done through, for example, honey traps, honey pot systems that are placed within the company. And of course, uh, well, most companies don't do it. But uh, if you're really afraid of becoming a victim, uh, this is always a good idea to have systems in your network that you only set up with the goal of uh, telling you if someone is trying to, to sniff on those systems. And uh, usually if no employee of your company even knows about the existence of such a system, uh, this is uh, one possibility to find out if someone's in your network. If I am a security officer of such a company, what should I do if I feel something is wrong? Well, first of all, you must make sure that uh, all your computers are patched and up to date, that you have uh, the latest updates for Windows or Mac OS or Linux or what operating system uh, is installed in your company. And secondly, you must be sure that you have a security solution installed and uh, that the security solution is up to date. And then you must make sure that you have patches for every third party application you are running into your uh, system configuration, especially for Adobe Reader, in my opinion, for Shockwave Player and for uh, Microsoft Office, because these are the, the main targets for cyber criminals at the moment. And in addition to this, you definitely need a security policy. Uh, users must be locked out of the administrator account and uh, all the access to the internet must be locked and uh, definitely you need a good security policy in order to survive a targeted attack. So I've heard that, uh, maybe I'm wrong, uh, I've heard that if I'm using Windows Vista with Internet Explorer V8 Internet Explorer, mm -hmm. I'm totally secure and totally safe. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. Uh, and. Um, there have been uh, recent uh, hacking competitions where the hackers were able to uh, break into fully patched uh, Internet Explorer 8 running on Vista configurations uh, using zero-day vulnerabilities, meaning that uh, they would have been able to deliver this kind of attack against any company using this configuration. So uh, you are not protected against everything, of course. That, that's very important and people must be aware that it's not possible to be protected against everything. Uh, but definitely I do agree that Vista and Internet Explorer, they provide a, a step forward in terms of security. And to continue these steps forward, uh, there are browsers which in my opinion are even more secure and operating systems which are even more secure than Vista. And uh, for instance, in my opinion, a combination of Firefox or Google Chrome and Windows 7 running on 64-bit platforms uh, is going to provide additional protection to you. And does it mean that security solutions are absolutely useless? Do we need to, don't, don't we need to use antivirus or not? Uh, of course, you need to have antivirus, the uh, same way as every company needs to have doors. So, if, of course, if you uh, ask a very skilled lock picker, he will be able to open any door, but most people won't be able. And it's similar with, with antivirus. So, if you have someone who's really into targeted attacks, it's very likely that he will be able to get past every system. And if it does not work with uh, getting part of the antivirus system, you will find other ways like physical approach to systems. So there will always be a way. But uh, antivirus protection just makes it a lot diffi more difficult for the attacker. And of course, and this is the most important part, uh, it keeps away all this malware that is not uh, based on targeted attacks but just floating around. So like your employees may be uh, checking his Facebook account and 
gets the computer of the company infected. This happens accidentally. It was not a targeted attack, but once the attacker understands that he's now in the middle of such a company network, he might change his mind and then he will stop a targeted attack. So, well, thank you, Magnus. Thank you, Kostin. Thank you for such useful information. And uh, I'm sure we still have a lot of questions and that's why we will return to this discussion in future. Thank you very much.